Hello, Superclass. Today we're going to solve by factoring. So how would we do that? What we'd like to do, since we have two terms, is to factor out the greatest common one-term factor. This is sometimes called the greatest common monomial factor, which here, the biggest number that goes into both 2 and 8 is 2, and the highest power of x that goes into both x squared and x is x. So essentially, we factor out the 2x from this uh, binomial. Now, how do we come up with the parts that go here and here? We don't have to write them, but we think 2x squared over 2x, this over that. So this over that. And that gives us 2 over 2 is 1, x squared over x is x. And that is where we get x that would go right here. Now, what will go here? Again, we don't have to write it out, but we think minus 8x, that's this term, over the 2x. Minus 8 over 2 is minus 4. And as long as x is not 0, x over x is equal to 1. And so we get minus 4. And that equals to 0, right? Because in our original equation, 2x squared minus 8x equal to 0. So now this, the 2x, times the quantity x minus 4 equals 0. Now, we can set each of these two factors equal to 0 because if two quantities multiply to give 0, then either the first one must be 0, or the second one must be 0, or I guess they could both be 0. I mean, we can't take like 1 third times negative 2 and get 0, or 0.3 times 68 and get 0, right? One of the two things has to be 0. So 2x equals to 0, or x minus 4 equals to 0. So if 2x equals to 0, then we can divide both sides by 2, which gives us x is 0, right? If 2 times x is 0, we undo multiplying by 2, so we divide by 2. Of course, we do that on both sides in math. Then for x minus 4 equals 0, since we're subtracting 4 from x, we want to undo subtracting 4 from x, so we want to add 4. Of course, in math, we do that to both sides, which gives us x equals to 4. So our solutions will be 0 and 4. All right, put them back into the original equation and see that they check, class.